So uh, Nikki Haley suspends her campaign and leaves Donald Trump as the last major Republican candidate. Okay. They asked him yesterday, you know how they had to give their speeches at like when they went in and stuff, mm-hmm. um, Super Tuesday. Mm-hmm. As he was going off stage, people was trying to get him to say something bad about Nikki Haley, and he didn't take the bait this time. So somebody finally got to him, I guess, and said, you are a numbskull. Don't talk about Nikki Haley because the people who voted for Nikki Haley, you need them to vote for you. He didn't listen the whole time. But last night, obviously, he listened. No, but she said he made a comment about the voters, people that voted for her. What did he say? Ma. You don't want to be bothered with him. He said, I don't want to be bo- I don't want them voting for me. I don't want to be bothered with him. Didn't he just say that? When did he say that? He said it's similar to that, that he don't want to be bothered with him. What is wrong with him? He's pretty much saying, those of y'all who've supported her, I don't even want you. He's a moron. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yeah, I keep trying to tell y'all that night the people who vote for him, you voting for a moron. But the sad thing about why would you tell some people I don't need your vote? The sad thing about it is those of you who are supporting him. Why y'all supporting him? He changes with the wind. You guys are supporting him. It's gonna bite y'all in the butt because one day he may get up and go, everyone wearing green, put him in jail. Really. And they so cultic, they'll they'll go with it. Okay. Everyone in green, we're going to jail. It says Just Nikki stupid. Haley suspended her presidential campaign on Wednesday after being soundly defeated across the country um, on Super Tuesday, leaving Donald Trump as the last remaining major candidate for 2024 Republican nomination. Haley didn't endorse the former president in a speech in Charleston. Instead, she challenged him to win the support of the moderate Republicans and independent voters who supported her. So I guess she's telling him, don't do what you're doing. Right. Try to win them over. Right. It is now up to Donald Trump to earn the votes of those in our party and beyond. So I guess he's saying he ain't going to get them anyway. So I guess that's why he's saying it don't matter. Yeah. Don't vote for me. Because yeah. he already know they're not going to vote for him. So. so it's almost like he's the type of person, you're not breaking up with me, I'm breaking up with you. Right. Even though the person just said, it's, I don't want to be with you no more. Right. It's well, a, I was going to say that this morning. Y'all have to keep in mind, he's a narcissist. Narcissist? Yeah. If I say that ro- word right. Every situation that happens in his life, in this world, has to still be, a, he has to be the center of it. Well, it says here, she spent the final phase of her campaign aggressively warning the GOP against embracing Trump, who she argued was too consumed by chaos and personal grievance to defeat President Joe Biden in the general election. So I will say this for the record. With all of this she's saying, if she turns around and endorses Trump, we dodge the bullet. That means she is a, a scuzz bucket. Oh, All the stuff that the Trumpsters were saying about her, all the stuff that people was like, I don't want her to be president because she goes with whatever the way the wind blows. Mm -hmm. You don't know what she going to say. She say whatever people tell her to say. If she turns around and she endorses Trump, she indeed is a scuzz bucket. They should give her- At least with him, I agree with the Trumpsters. You know exactly what you're getting. you, You know what you're getting, but you still don't know what you're getting. But you know, but you, you kind of know. You know, you know he's not going to say, "Well, one day I endorse uh, uh, Nikki Haley, and the next day I don't." Unless he that or no, uh-uh. okay. unless he has a Damascus Road experience where he wait, aha, hallelujah. People will go, "Ooh, what's going on with his life?" But yeah. uh, other than that, we kind of know his ins and outs and stuff. So people want to know why she suspended her. Um, you said she had no thing. choice, right? She had no choice. Hmm. She had no choice because she couldn't keep going, right? She couldn't keep going. She couldn't end. keep going because there's no path for her to win. You have to win a certain number. Hmm. And she had there's no there's not enough numbers for left for her to keep going. For her to keep going. Hmm. So it makes sense. Okay. Why she um why she left. So we left with two old white men mm-hmm. who I are know. both out of touch. With what's going on with what's in now, the world. Now, another update from um my favorite show, The View. Mm-hmm. Uh, Is jo- that your favorite show? That's not one of them, yeah. No. I like news. 
So I don't watch the, the, the CNN. Mama loves CNN. Right. We all kind of have news things that we like watching. So you like the them other. because they have difference of opinion. I like hearing their opinions right, right. as well because a lot of them kind of view how I view. Which is, uh, what's her name? Sarah's my Sarah's big girl. Sarah's the one we She's like. She's my yeah. big girl because she's independent. I like her too. She go both sides. Yeah, I like her. And she'll come in and go, hey, you guys, think about right. this. And, and she then, gives, and she gives, go. She gives good views on, um, what she's saying. Yes. So she's, and she's a Virgo. Hey, she said that today. When you start believing in zodiac, no, I'm just saying it's a light. There's some like there's some kindred things that people say born on a certain time of the year. But um, uh, they had said on the um view, Joy kept showing this video clip Uh of Trump talking and saying stupid stuff. Right. So he's always talking, and then he's got a disclaimer now. Oh, I wasn't. I was just kidding, or I yeah. He always that. says he was joking. He got to have a disclaimer right, now. Right. But his friend, uh, uh, um, it was some country, Venezuela, uh-huh. uh, Argentina. His he like a man. He was talking about it like that's my friend. I'm gonna keep. A, and everybody was like, nobody's really putting that in the news. Okay. Nobody, uh, Fox don't show it. Right. CNN's not even talking about it. Okay. They keep going to Biden. His slip ups. Right. But the guy that was on the view, what's the news guy today? He was on the view and he he's bipartisan. He's doing both. Okay. He's saying they both slipping. They both Biden has made comments about some leader and he had the wrong leader name. And yeah, they both so they up. both slipping, but they both old. They don't really talk about Trump slipping more. So right. both of them. Both of them are slipping. They have different slip ups. Too, yeah. Right. But they both are slip up. Biden does fall more than um Trump though. He see he comes off as older. Trump will slip up, but he tries to make it seem like he meant to do it. Right. Where Biden will slip up and he just oh he yeah. don't even know how to get I out of it. it. Oh God. He don't even know how to get out of it because he's not a hustler. Mm-mm. Whereas Trump is a hustler. He's a street hustler. Mm-hmm. Somebody has said the other day, and I didn't even think about this. He what he does? He's New York. And he did a lot of stuff in New York and real estate and businesses. And he had to deal with the mob a lot. That's why a lot of his attorneys work with the mob. Yeah, They work, they help people that's in the mm-hmm. mob and stuff. He He's used to being a hustler. Mm-hmm. Finding little ways of yeah. loopholes. And talking to people that's um, scandalous. So he's used to it. So I thought this would be funny. Why are we moving all the time and stuff? I'm noticing we both doing a lot of moving. No, um, It's like, what's going on? Straightening up and moving, adjusting, all kind I'm of stuff. To get comfortable. Maybe it's these chairs or something. But anyway, um, I thought this would be a perfect time to show what both candidates' belief is in God. Oh, okay. Um, 